All right, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're enjoying the channel and enjoying all the race and action we're putting on. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Got a couple requests to do a Spin Master uh, chassis. And uh, this is a Monster Machines, um, the Raminator that I have here, just like here, but these old Monster Machines, you know, the they're actually pretty good. I'm saving this package because it's signed. So I got the old old Bigfoot there. They did a lot of cool ones back in the day, but these muscle machines, um, I don't know exactly what year they are from. I'm gonna show you how I do my um, swaps to the chin, the chin, spin master chassis. Um, I see I got my chassis already detailed, roll cage and everything there to how I want it. Um, so all that's pretty straightforward. So the only thing you do really have to cut, and I guess you don't have to, but it's going to be this little area right here, right at the front. Cause the, you'll see it once I get it off, there's a peg in the front that it sets on. And that's the only peg that's on the truck. There's no pegs in the roof or in the rear. To do the swap, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. There's one screw right here at the front. Um, you know, I'll just set aside the tail cover for now. Like I say, you don't need any scissors really. I do cut this space here. Um, and you're gonna need some kind of glue. And I'll show you the one I use. This Gorilla Glue Clear Grip is absolutely phenomenal. Once it holds, it is not gonna let go, so. Uh, you'll need some of that. You can buy it in any hobby store. Uh, I think most grocery stores carry this, I think. Um, but Gorilla Grip, Clear Grip, um, Contact Adhesive. It's waterproof and holds in seconds. And I also find you don't have to have it, but having either a hairdryer or a heat gun just speeds the process up a little bit. I'll show you how to take the chip, the body off of the old uh, muscle machines there. So there's Raminator and it's just one screw, little Phillips head right there, right at the front underneath, just comes out, Phillips head, but there it goes, it's out. And then it's kind of linked to the back, but there it goes, it's off the body. <laughs> These were kind of cool because if you, they kind of have a, a suspension, <laughs> as you see there. Have it in the rear, in the front, like inside the wheels. You see it there, the little spring. So that's the suspension. You can see it actuating there. Pretty neat idea. <laughs> but the, unfortunately, it, you know, the proportions are a little bit off. But the casting itself, they did a really good job on, especially the Dodges, like the... Um, the Dodges, they did a really cool job on the front. Uh, so I really like these old castings. What I do is these are, you can see they're kind of like curved uh, parrot nose snips. And these right here are the best tools I think I've ever bought. N not only for doing any die cast work, but for cutting zip ties, for uh, opening stuff, anything you need cut, these are phenomenal. Would highly recommend getting a pair of these parrot nose. Um, and these are from Park Tool. They're bike bike tools, but um, any any little parrot nose steps will, will do fine. But anyway, um, so I'm going to cut this area. This is the you know rear where the motor is. And this right here is the front, where usually the front peg would rest on. So I'm actually going to cut inside this, just like snip it out right there. And I will glue it to the chassis using that. So I'll show you how to snip it really quick. You don't have to do a lot. I'll try to do it on camera. But I just kind of go inside the two bars here. See the two bars, this one and that one. I cut inside. And I don't cut this, I don't cut any of that, just the inside. So, I'm trying to see you there. 
line it up and snip inward. And then see cut there and do the same thing on this side. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cut and then you just kind of grab it and twist it off. And there you see it is now cut. So that's where that peg is gonna go into. And I've already got my chassis and everything kind of detailed the way I want it. So now I just put the roll cage back on. So you are gonna wanna snip uh, for uh, this one right here. So you have one, one right here at the bottom, you wanna leave that, but you wanna snip this one. There's three in the front, one, two, three. You wanna snip this guy here, number two. And this is again where the needle nose pliers come in, parrot nose, whatever you call them. And there we go, see that guy's gone. So now we only have one, two, so. Let me get that a little more flush. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so that is the only bar you have to cut. But you want to leave that bottom one because that's the one it uses to kind of lock onto the front of the, the roll cage. This one here, so leave that one. And then it will, that front peg will go right in there, just like that. And that'll make it sit nice and low on the actual chassis and frame. So that'll be what it kind of looks like when it's done. It looks really good. Um, but there's a little trick and it helps if you're on a flat surface because you gotta kind of eyeball it. You wanna make sure that when you glue it on that your truck is sitting in there straight because you don't want it sitting crooked, you know, because the back end will, will you know, the truck will set like that and you don't want that so you want it nice and straight and basically um, I'm gonna add glue to this I'm gonna add glue here to the peg I'm gonna add glue here to the roof and I'm gonna add glue right here inside the rear tailgate that's where I'm gonna add my glue so I'll do that real quick. And that's where our, once we get it set where we want, we're gonna use a, a heat gun to speed up the process. So, so here we go. So we gotta make sure you do all this step first because once you glue this on, it is not coming off. <laughs> it's on there. So make sure you got everything detailed first, the way you want it. Make sure you make your cut and like test fit, make sure everything is setting right before you glue. Cause once you glue this stuff, it's on there forever. <laughs> it ain't coming off. This stuff is incredible. I feel like I talked way too much in this video. Maybe over explained, but whatever. So I gloop it on there pretty good. And on the roof there, you know, and on the rear here, that rear tailgate, that's where it's going to make contact with the roll cage. I'm going to try to quickly put my top back on. All right, now here's the hard part. You got to kind of sit it just the way you want it. And. Make sure that it's sitting nice and straight. Make sure that it's sitting flush like this the way you want it. It's looking pretty good. And once again, just move it slowly so it doesn't really move around a lot. I think I'm pretty happy with how that's sitting. You gotta watch this reel to sink down. So kind of push it down a little bit towards the front. Once you got it the way you want it, setting the setting just right. This is where your heat gun comes in. And this this just helps kind of make it set. 
and just let it sit. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's all just making sure that everything looks straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's, it's you know, it's somewhat straight, um, I think you're okay. Like this one isn't exactly 100% straight, but it's close enough for my purposes. And, and that's it. It's that simple. And you just let it sit overnight and it'll be... Um, like it was born there tomorrow. So, so just make sure when you're gluing it, if you push it towards the front, just make sure you're still making contact with the truck, the tailgate and the roll cage in the rear. Or if you push it back, just make sure that you're still contacting the, the rear of the roll cage there on the truck bed. Cause that you got three glue points that really hold it on. And that's one of the big ones. So, and that's it. So now you know how to do muscle machines. It's pretty easy. All you need is the right tools. And like I said, this Gorilla Glue is just amazing. It holds any, anything. It's unbelievable. So um, now that it's heated up, that thing is on there. And you'll see Raminator out in action. We're going to race this truck, you know. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. But that's all you really need. Screwdriver, glue, and some kind of snips, preferably parrot nose, but you could do it with any kind of snips. And that's it. So that is your muscle machines to spin master chassis. It's that simple. All right. Thanks, guys.